So I thought I'd tell you about a few of the communities that I'm a part of. Now, none of these communities asked me to do this, and you might be wondering why I would do this anyway. I mean, it doesn't really help you with productivity or anything like that, right? Well, that's where you're wrong. You see, communities are a great way to learn more about yourself. It's a great way to learn about whatever it is you're joining the community for, and it's a great way to learn from people from all different skill levels in the same fields that you're interested in. And that's why I wanted to share some of these with you. Now, I'm not telling you to go and sign up for these communities particularly. I'm just going to explain why I'm a part of them and give you a little bit of information about them so you can look for something similar in your area or if you are looking for an online solution, who knows, maybe I'll catch you online in one of our communities. Now, let me start this by saying that almost all of these communities I found using meetup.com. Now, once again, I was not asked to do this by any of these companies or whatever, but meetup.com is a great way for you to find people that are just like you in your area. So if you're looking for a physical community to join, I would suggest starting there. They always have events going on in your area, and if you tell them what you're interested in, they'll send you the occasional email about a new group or existing group that fits what you're looking for. And with that, the latest group that I discovered on Meetup is the San Diego Bullet Journalist Group. Now, this group is online. They have a Facebook group, and I will add a link to all of these groups and their online um, personas in the comments below. But the San Diego Bullet Journalist is a godsend to me. Now, for those that don't know, I am an analog productivityist. You can check out some of my previous videos that showcase a little bit of my bullet journaling that I do every single day. You might see different communities and people on Instagram and Pinterest showcasing their wonderful, you know, fountain pen flexitive art and showing these wonderful bullet journal spreads. Now, unfortunately, that is not common. Usually bullet journals are somewhat colorful. They can be, but they're usually functional. A lot of people tend to go functionality over um, beauty, I would say. So when I discovered that there was a group of people in my local area that were not only learning more and more about the bullet journal, but were coming from a very practical and functional approach, I immediately had to sign up. The community is still starting out and they're just now growing. And that's great because for me, since I've been bullet journaling a long time, I have the ability to teach and learn from people from an early stage as well as a few that are professionals. And everyone feels like they're on the same footing because the group is still pretty young. So that's the first group. The next group that I wanna talk about is more for my professional development. And that is We All JS. So I've talked a lot about different coding groups and the reason why I chose We All JS is because they are a local group that I'm a part of. Uh, a few of the online communities that I'm a part of as well are Code Newbie and Operation Code. If you're interested in those, be sure to check them out. But We All JS is a, is a very inclusive community and they're happy about that. That is something that they are very, very proud of is that everyone has an equal place in the group. It is very, very friendly and everyone is willing to help one another. I really enjoy that and I also enjoy the meetups where we've had many great uh, people, including April Wenzel, who is just on the Productivity in Tech podcast, as well as many other people. And we learn so much like I'm coming from an area where I don't know much about JavaScript so being a newbie in the JavaScript world and learning a lot through practical application using things like mob style programming and and playing with hardware with like with the Tesla project has really been a great way for me to expand my knowledge in JavaScript as well as entice me to do more and more things in JavaScript as well those are the first two now I would like to get into the third one, which is an online community I'm super happy to be a part of, even though I may not fit the normal member. And that community is She Nomads. 
Now, you may know She Nomads. If you've listened to the Productivity in Tech podcast, we had Latoya Allen, the founder of She Nomads, on the podcast recently. I've known Latoya for a long time, and we were actually starting our podcasts and communities around the same time. So a lot of what you see today is influenced by Latoya and by all the help that she's provided and the support that she's provided as well. So first, a big shout out to you, Latoya. You're super awesome. And I'm glad that I could be a part of your group. Now, the reason I add this group into this list is that She Nomads shows where I want to be in my career. And obviously, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a male, my pronouns are, are he and him, but at the same time, I am learning from hundreds of digital nomads who are the coolest people ever. Some I've met in person, and some I've only met online, but I'm always learning about new tips for working remotely. So when I do land that first remote job, or when I do jump out on my own and start working from home, or start working from wherever in the world, then I will be equipped with a support network as well as plenty of tips and tricks. So as much as it is important for me to join communities for where I am now to strengthen that, it's also equally as important to join communities that help you get to where you're trying to go. Now, the last community that I want to tell you about is obviously a no-brainer. That is the Productivity in Tech Facebook group in the Productivity in Tech community. So we have plenty of different ways that you can connect with us on social media. We have a Twitter, we have an Instagram, we have a Facebook page, we have a Reddit, and we have a Slack channel. But the biggest resource of them all is hands down the Productivity in Tech Facebook group. Inside of there, you'll find hundreds of people, both productivity professionals, both developers, designers, content creators, people in all different walks of the tech space who are all there to help each other become more productive whether it's sharing links to the latest news articles that impact productivity or videos that help inspire them to get things going, they are always there to provide a friendly connection in the productivity space. And I'm not just saying that because I started the group, I'm saying that because honestly, I learn more from them than they do from me. In fact, we created the Productivity and Tech Facebook page so that we could let the group be a separate living community and not be inundated with just productivity and tech content. Everyone there has the passion to become more productive. And whether you're talking to productivityist founder Mike Vardy or amazing video content creator and author and author Carl Pauline or the wonderful app reviewer Francesco D'Alessio and the many others in that community, I would highly encourage you to get in and start asking questions that are gonna help you become more productive. So that's it for me. I've mentioned plenty of groups. I'm gonna have all of those groups down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please let me know. And if you know of any communities that you think that I would gain benefit from or that you've gained benefit from, please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. We do videos all the time. Try to get as much of a different kind of feel to each video as possible, but they all have the same thing in that they want you striving to become more, more of whatever you choose to be. But the first step with that is being more productive. So for Productivity in Tech, I'm Jay Miller. I'll talk to you later.